Good evening, my brothers and sisters. Very good evening. It's beautiful to see you again, and what a great day. That's who we are living in. What a great time we are living in. The new year is still. I know that new year is going to bring great blessings to every one of you, and that's our prayer. And I know that you're already seeing the power of the prayers. Many people called us to let us know about what God is really doing, praise reports. We are very, very excited. Thank you for tuning into our program. Trinity, timidity, or temerity. Remember, I told you temerity is boldness. Dear brothers and sisters, is it time for us, you know, to be very bold to face the challenges? So, you know, I always, the first thing, first thing is first. We need to seek the face of our divine master. You know, without prayer, we can't do anything. So therefore, will you please join with us in, in praying for all the viewers and for us? Please, you know, we need that. We need your prayers. So I'll let Abina pray for you and for me and for all of you guys, wherever you're watching today. God bless. Thank you, Abina. Thank you Jesus. Praise you, my Lord Jesus. We honor you, Father. We honor you, Father. We bless you. We give you thanks for the life once again you've given us. What an awesome blessing to be in your presence at this moment. We love you, Lord, with all our heart and yes. mind and soul. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Abba Father, we pray for all those people who's watching us right now, around the globe, wherever they're watching, my Lord Jesus. Yes. We surrender yes. all in your mighty hand. Father, bless everyone, whatever sickness they're going through, whatever pain they're going through, whatever suffering they're going through. We ask in Jesus' name to heal everyone, my Lord Jesus. Abba, them. Father, open the blind eyes. They are praying for blind eyes right now, Father. Open that eyes, Father, yeah. to see you. Open the deaf ears to hear your word, Hallelujah. my Lord Jesus. Yes, Touch them right now, my Lord Jesus. They are, they are come to you, Father. Bless everyone, my Lord Bless Jesus. Them, Even the cancer, we pray for the cancer. We yes. pray for the depression, my Lord Jesus. Today yes. is the day. Today is the day, my Today Lord Jesus. Yes, day. Father, heal them, my Lord Jesus. All those people, once again, who ask us to pray, every one of them, Father, from the day one till right now, individually and collectively, bless them all, wherever they are, my Lord Jesus. I offer them in your loving hand. Pray for all the persecuted Christians around the world who are persecuted because they are Christian. Yes. You said man shall not live by bread alone. Every word that yes, comes from the Lord, yes, Father, my Lord yes. Jesus, every word is your word, Father. Your word is life, my Lord Jesus. Thank Wash you. every one of them Thank with you, your Jesus. blood. Your blood is, Father, so powerful, my Lord Jesus. Never loses, Never loses efficacy. its efficacy for Alleluia. all yes. ages. For all my ages. Lord Jesus. Thank you. Man, everyone, we bring them to you, Lord Jesus. Above Father, thank you once again for all my brothers and sisters, Father, who gather here, and especially my brother also, as he's going to speak your word. Father, anoint us, Father. Let your holy presence be here. My Lord Jesus, bless our network, our CEO, our staff, and all those people. Once again, who ask us to pray, we bring them all to you, my Lord Jesus. All things are possible yes. to those who believe in you, my Lord Jesus. Enoch walked with you. He never seen never death. Seen death. Those who walk with you, my Lord Jesus, they have an eternal death. life. Thank, Thank you, you for hearing our prayer. Thank you for answering our prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you for Thank your you. presence. Thank you for your anointing at this moment. Bless everyone who's watching, Father. Release your blessing. And I ask all this in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Good start. Very good start. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you. Lord God Almighty has heard a cry. He's a God that we serve. He hears us all the time. He's a God who answers our prayers. Whatever your prayer needs are, call your friends, inundate the media, Facebook, Instagram, wherever. So it's time for us. We're going to take the media mount, mountain. You know, our CEO is calling is to take this mountain, media mountain to the Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing is impossible, my dear brothers and sisters. 
you know, there's nothing. If you trust him, all things are possible. So this uh, last few segments I was talking about, you know, fear not, fear not, because the fear is really uh, a weapon that the enemy shoots at you and me. So therefore, you know, I told you why we shouldn't be afraid because of Jesus Christ who came to this world to take that fear away because the enemy wants to instill that fear all the way in your life. You're seeing that. So you, you, the unknown fear that is really brewing in you every day. So, you know, the very appearance that Christ came to this world just to tell you this, good news, fear not, right? Fear not. I am with you. What is going to do with the, you know, what is going to do with your life? Today, I'm going to listen to that. You know, before that, I ask you one thing. Please uh, jot on every word that I give to you. It is very important why I tell you, because you need to uh, please listen from the scriptures. Uh, Acts chapter 17, this is the... Uh, Dr. Luke mentioning this for you. It's a prescription for you and for me. How you can be a noble person. Acts chapter 17, verse and 5 and 6. Sheila is going to read that. Uh, no, I, I think you can go to 10 or 11. Yes, 11 maybe. 11. Okay. Because you really watch what she, Sheila is going to read for you. This is for you and for me. Please, you want to be noble? Just listen, please. Now the Berean of Jews were noble, more of noble character than those in Thessalonica. For they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul, was, Paul said was true. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you want to be a noble person instead of ignoble? You want to be noble? Search the scripture. Jesus Christ says, search the scripture. Your eternity and your eternal life is in just on that. That's why my dear brothers and sisters, it is not that, you know, I'm just throwing all this uh, word of God just for you to just take it and just grab it and go and throw it away. No. This is your, again, I'm telling you, this word as life in itself. Because Jesus Christ is that life. So please don't take very lightly. You know, John chapter 1, verse 1 to 10, if you read it, it says, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. Word was God. The word become flesh. The word become flesh. And is dwelt amongst us. That's why, you know, when you take the word, remember, you know, if you or a church goer, if you really attend the church every Sunday, remember, you know, before they read the gospel, what they do? They let the gospel higher than the rest of the world. <laughs> they uh, literally lift higher. Why? Because the word of God is being, when they proclaim, and uh, what we do, most of the f people that I know, they stand just standing ovation to hear the word of God. So my dear brothers and sisters, you know, it is very important for us. Whenever you hear the word of God, you know, you, you have to understand, you need to really examine this. You examine that word. Is that true? Is that true? And, you know, apply that in your life and just see what happened. You know, that word will fight for you. The word that you hear from the Lord will fight for you all your problems that you're going through. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, if you turn to uh, Exodus chapter 14, and if Sheila can read that, Exodus chapter 14, verse 13 and 14, one word, you know, the Lord says to Moses, 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 get up. Why are you anguish? Just where is the power that I gave you? The authority that I gave you? Where is the staff that I gave you? Take that. Go. You will never see this Pharaoh anymore. You know, the Pharaoh was marching, as you know that, 
They were trying to really stop their journey in all the way, in spite of all the great signs and wonders, the Lord really brought them out. Yet the Pharaoh, the last time, the last time, he is running towards them to take over them, to destroy those people, to stop their journey. And now the Lord, Moses, you don't know what it is. People, people were about to take a stone and throw upon him. That's all our people know. But you know, they've forgotten the faith. God wants to demonstrate his power. My dear brothers and sisters, here, you know, Sheila, Sheila can read that one word, uh, chapter 14, verse 13 and 14. The Lord will fight for you. Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, yes. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance of the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptian you see today will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. Need only to be still. Hallelujah. Need you to be still. The Lord God Almighty is going to fight. Fight for you and for me. So today, you know, when the Egyptians are coming, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about the current beautiful uh, friends and people that I know from Egypt. It's not about you, my brothers and sisters. You guys are all my family. But I'm talking about, you know, the Pharaoh, you know, in the Old Testament. I'm talking about Exodus chapter 14. Here, you know, God is trying to deliver them from Egypt, you know, from the captive. You know, he wanted to deliver them. But here, you know, the Pharaoh was trying to show his mighty fist, and as you all know that, with great sign and wonder. And this is the final straw that break the camel's head. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord calmed Moses and he said, Be still and know that I am the Lord. See, God wants to fight in your life. My dear brothers and sisters, you're fighting on your own. You're struggling, uh, you know, with, with all your addiction. You know, you're fighting big giants in your life. You're fighting because we're all called to fight. Yes, I understand that. You know, St. Paul says in, uh, you know, uh, Thessalonica, I mean, it's Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18. It says, like, we, you and I have to face our enemy. He's Satan. Okay, you know, not only the flesh and blood to inherit the kingdom of God. But, you know, it says like there is a warfare going for your soul and my soul. So that way, you know, we need to fight. But, you know, you're fighting by yourself with your ingenuity, with your, with your technology, with your money, with your wealth, with your science. It's not going to prosper. It's not going to prosper. So that's why, you know, the Lord God, you know, when he called Moses, and every successors and predecessors, if you ought to watch it, God instructed them, you know, that I, my word is going to go before you. My word will go before you. My angels I'm going to send before you. They're going to fight for you because these nations are bigger and they are huge. But, you know, you cannot fight this fight without me. You need me. So, my dear brothers and sisters, it's time for us to really conglomerate, you know, that means, you know, you have to agglomerate, you have to bring them all together. Every promise of the Lord, you need to annex it. You need to really connect in your life. You cannot, you have to ameliorate, you have to make use of, you have to enhance the God's great blessing that has been given to you. So, you know, if you want to prosper, if you want to fight the enemy, it is time for you to turn and listen to the Lord, God Almighty, because he has given you the promises, the ordinances, and the statutes, and the commandments. You have to trust him. You have to turn to him all the time. When you turn to him, the Lord said, you will prosper. You know, in First Chronicle chapter 21, verse 13, because I don't have time, much time, because, you know, I let Sheila read, but, you know, please check what I'm telling you. First Chronicle chapter 21 verse 13 it says very clearly you will prosper the lord's word he decreed and declared you will prosper in joshua chapter 1 verse 1 to 10 he wants you to prosper wherever you go whatever you do do but you know make sure the lord said 
fear not, dismay not. I am with you wherever you go, whatever you do. But you need me, you need my presence to go. Without the presence of God, you and I cannot able to reach our destination. We struggle all the way. So, you know, the reason why we struggle, we cannot flourish. In spite of the Lord is promised that he's going to prosper you all the way. But unfortunately, the people that whom he delivered, they never prosper. They drop dead in the wilderness. Is that God's plan? No. My dear brothers and sisters, Second Chronicle chapter 24. Please read it. Second Chronicle chapter 24, verses 20 to 24. You know, it says very clearly, because people rebelled, because they were disobedient, because they are disobedient to the Lord and they throw every commandments behind. That's one of the reasons God says, you will not prosper. You will not prosper. Just listen to Second Chronicles chapter 24, verse 20 to 24. Please read it. Read for yourself. This is what God says. Why do you disobey the Lord's command? Not prosper. You will not, not prosper. prosper. See, God is not contradicting in your life. He said in the previous chapter, in the same first chronicle, he said you're going to prosper. Whatever you do, remember you, pro you promised uh, Moses in uh, Exodus chapter 23, verse 20 to 23. Uh, you know, read it. Chapter 23, verses 20 to 23. He said that he wanted to flourish. You want it to prosper behind. But why we don't? Today he heard it. Because the moment we need to put the word of God behind. So my dear brothers and sisters, if you want to see the victory in your life, you want to see a victory in your family. You are struggling with your addiction. You are not seeing victory. You are struggling with so many other complications in your life. The sickness is bothering you, chasing you down hunkering you down. The depression is coming after you. And the hallucination, man, so many deluge, calamities you're facing day and night. Where is the God that you believe? Where is the God that you serve? Where is the God that you go to church every Sunday, everywhere you go and you hear the word of God? Why he don't want to help you? You heard it. You need to listen to him and obey him because you're the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Without him, mighty brothers and sisters, you and I can do nothing. John chapter 15, verse 5 to 7, please read it. Without him, without Jesus Christ, we cannot able to fight this big battle. It's still waging war against you and me. So, my dear brothers and sisters, it's time for you and for me to really mend our life and repent and seek the face of God. Second Chronicle chapter 7, verse 14. Leave everything beside, you know, put everything behind, you know, go forward because the Lord commanded Moses, today is the day I will fight for you. Yes, he fought. He delivered them. But, you know, in the wilderness, the people went back and they lost their heritage. The promised land was waiting for them. Unfortunately, they were not able to see the promised land. What is your promised land? It's not the struggle all your life. It's, you don't have to fight your life all the days of your life. Because Christ appeared. Christ came to your life. He came to this world to give you the victory, my dear brothers and sisters. Take 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses uh, 50 to uh, 57. It says, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. He gives you victory. He gives us victory. Yes. Oh my gosh, you don't have to be a failed guy. You don't have to be always going through your suffering. He has come to alleviate your burden. He says, come. All those were every burden. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. I wanted to deliver you. I want to... Make you a free bird. You can fly all over. That's what my brothers and sisters, again, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. It says, listen to him and Jesus Christ will bring you the victory. Yes. But you have to listen. Today, Sheila heard, you read, uh, you know, she read about this experience 
where the noble people, they search the scripture every day. You may be any denomination, I don't care. Search the scripture, it has been given to you. We have this history, 2,000 years of history, how the word of God can flourish us. Yes, send this, uh, you know, son, only son, that you may prosper. God said his only begotten son. Whoever believe in him, whoever walk with him, my sister pray, Enoch never die. So also, my dear brothers and sisters, every apostles from the day one to today, whoever walk beha- beside Christ, they will never die. John chapter 11, verse 25. I am the life. I am the resurrection. That says the Lord. I am the life. If you walk with the life, the death has no power over you. Oh, death, you have to, you have to ask, oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your victory? Please raise that question. Oh, cancer, where is your victory? Oh, depression, where is your victory? Oh, addiction, where is your victory? Please raise that question. Oh, addiction. Whatever sickness, where is your victory? Because Christ conquered your death and your curse is upon him. You know, Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Curse is the one who hangs on the tree. The Lord says, if you disobey, I will curse you. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. You will disobey me. You put my word behind, then I'm going to curse you. 64 curses. We don't want to go there. But the Lord Jesus Christ, every curse has come upon Jesus Christ. And that's why he says, go free. He took it all. By his strife. What, what? Come on. By his strife, we are all healed. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Your sickness, your grief, your burden, your guilt, your pain, whatever you're going through, today is a day of redemption. Today is the day of redemption. My dear brothers and sisters, sisters, again, Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1 to 6. Today when you hear my words, harden not not your heart. heart. It is time for us to really conglomerate. It is time for us to agglomerate, bring it all together. Because in bringing the word of God, you have life. God wants to breathe life in your life, my dear brothers and sisters, Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. You have to connect every word, every dot. Without the word, you cannot function. You cannot prosper. You cannot find the healing. You cannot find anything apart from Christ. Today, when you hear me, please jot on everything. Look for and you find life in there. Okay? Today, God fights for you. So today, he wants to fight and he want to deliver you. He want to bless you. And I throw final segment to Sheila. And she want to talk to you. Dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for tuning in to our program. Today you heard the message. We will all prosper if we obey his command. Hallelujah. So pray, thank the Lord. And we are so privileged to have this message. And uh, please send in your love offering and gifts to us. And Praise to Lord. take the gospel to the world. And uh, God bless you all, and see you prayer next time. Too. They and can send the prayer we request. received the prayer request and uh, praise report also. And uh, we, are, we pray every day and fast every Friday for you all. So please Thank you, Jesus. stand yes. with us. Prakna. Yes, we come and we pray for all of you, my dear brothers and That's sisters. Me. Please, you know, you see the victory in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth. He's alive, he's alive, he's on the throne. See Revelation chapter time. 19. Verse 1 to 7. God bless you all. See you next Next Friday. Friday. God bless every one of you. Bless you.